Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here for the fifth and final episode of our F-123 mini season. And it's the Brazilian Grand Prix. Looking at the standings, we have 148 points. Uh, Piastrion down is eliminated, trying to win the championship. The mathematical amount of points you can get left is 60 one race, sprint race, and or two races, one sprint, and two fastest lap points. So uh, we did pretty well the last few races. We won Italy, Qatar, and the United States. Also, we won the sprint in Qatar and got third in the U.S. We should have had first. We had a uh, penalty for making contact with Charles Leclerc. So. All that's left is Brazil and Las Vegas today. Let's see, we got who hasn't scored points? A lot. Stroll, Bottas, Ricardo, Lokenberg, and Sargent. Interesting. All right. Let's go. Brazil is one of my favorite tracks. Uh, one of my best tracks that I race at um, in both F1 and in uh, Gran Turismo when we play that. Uh, speaking of Gran Turismo, that will be making a return next week as we begin the uh, premiere project that we have for you guys coming up in September. So be ready for that starting tomorrow. Premiere project starts tomorrow. So that's very, very exciting. Uh, premiere project number 13. That is Curtis and one a 20 year celebration. What the hell? Wow, the car really took off on me there. That was weird. Did not want to break. That's gonna hurt me in the sp car just doesn't want to slow down. Dog. Whatever issue that had in sprint, that's annoying. Or the qualifying. That is real frustrating. Because that should have been that should have been pulled. But the thing for whatever reason will it didn't slow down for any of the corners. I was trying, but it just did not stop. Let's have a quick look at those who'll be front. Curious what the constructors looks like. Oh, we're only nine behind Ferrari. Oh my god, we got a shot. We got a shot to win both championships. Come on. Come on. We can do this. <sighs> yeah, I don't know the car. I don't know if I hit the grass or what, but the car would not slow down the first time. Again, I think that the issue is that the game has the ERS deployment on the whole time, and I don't want that. Anthony I don't like that off. That's the only thing I can point to that hurts me to call it out. Alright, we got a race smart here. Let's get by Piastri. Race smart.
What the fuck, dude? What happened? Was that on me? Nah, he, he moved back over. That's frustrating. Come on, Russell. I had to avoid hitting him and spinning like I did the first time. Yeah, I mean, the start definitely was okay. It could have been way better, though. Come on, dude. I'm good with the fact that it's Norris leading and not like Leclerc or Hamilton. I'm good with that. Norris leading because he's close to being mathematically leading. Get DRS here? Yes, we do. We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. Come on, can I catch the player? Try to see what I can do, but that's fine. We'll take fourth. Not a brilliant start here again. Qualifying should not have gone the way that it went. So, and that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. Fourth isn't terrible. Um, again, I think I could have got a little higher if I didn't have that that bad start. Um, because again, the first time I made contact with Russell, so I went super uh, defensive to not pass him off the track, and then I had to get the spot back, and that has lost me so much time. Another solid result for our championship leader today, allowing them to extend. All right, so anybody that's 52 points or more behind, so Norris and Verstappen are both out now. So Russell, Leclerc, Hamilton, and Signs are next again. We have a chance that um, we can be 26 points or more and be able to win the championship here in Brazil. It is possible. We have to go win the race. That's the first thing. Because then it's only going to be 26 points, right? Whoever is 26 points behind... Uh, 
cannot win the championship if you're 27 or whatever. So, realistically, you just have to... I have to win this race. And we're in a good spot. Go win this race. You know, we picked it up. Again, Italy, Qatar, U.S. We've picked it up since then. So, I feel like we had a little bit of a momentum shift here. Again, if this was like a full season, it would be way longer, way more time to go. But we can clinch the championship in the next few minutes here. We just go out and do what we have to do in Brazil. Anthony Davidson. Now, Lando is just slightly out of it. These guys in front of me are the main two that we're trying to eliminate. Send it on the inside there against Hamilton. Let's go. Come on. Wow, I just got crashed by Hamilton. Um, that's crazy. Wow. We'll show that here because my recording froze. All right, I did make a lay block on him. Again, now this would be technically race over, you would imagine. I mean, look at that. That would be race over right there. Coming back. Barely missed for Stappen. Barely missed Leclerc. All right, good flashback point to use there. Again, keeping Lando here in second is good. Keeping him second just helps with the championship. Because he's just going to put more, take more points away from these guys. give us the chance that we really, really want the championship and redemption for our My Driver career mode series that we did months ago. We get dropped from Red Bull for a equally bad start of the season. All we're looking for here is the next four laps to go smooth and we will get redemption for that redemption for honestly putting together a solid second half of that season but getting dropped just because the game said no you're not performing I guess Red Bull is a difficult team to stay at in this game specifically 
I mean, Red Bull's a difficult team to set unless you're Checo. Um, you can perform badly and they keep you. But normally, it is difficult to stay at Red Bull. Um, but in this game, for whatever reason, they made it very, very hard to stay at Red Bull. Very, very difficult to stay here. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, maybe just because they have such a good car that it's in the game to uh, you know, make it make it difficult. Again, going up against Max Verstappen is difficult. Uh, normally, for whatever reason, this Cody hasn't really cooked, but F123 Max Verstappen is insane. So. There is that, but we have worked here to try to get this recovery again. We had a big recovery just in this season as the start, Bahrain, Miami. That first episode, we had 10 points. Episode two, win in Austria, third in Belgium. Episode three, another DNF. This time in the Netherlands. Follow that up with a crazy but controversial race in Italy where we got the W. Then Qatar and the United States pick up W's there. So the start of the season though, very difficult. The first five races in a fifth place, two DNFs, a third and a first. That was what we were looking at. Second half here, race six on has been win, 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 and we're looking for another win. We can close out the second half of the season with W's the whole way. That would be brilliant. Hamilton is behind us. We must keep Hamilton behind. He's only three points from elimination himself. He sits at 23. The gap from first to second in points would be enough. All we have to do is beat him in this race. He's battling Lando. Lando's going to get him. Let's go. Hamilton now battling with Verstappen for third. Contact with Lando. That is not what I needed. I did not need to hit Lando and get a broken front wing on the last lap. Oof, that's going to make this that much more tricky, huh? Because this whole middle bit is just tricky, tricky turns. Oof. Good news is Hamilton's fourth, so even if we were to lose it to Lando, uh, we could still probably secure the championship. But I don't want to secure the championship with a second. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field.
Oh, that was brilliant. And this also means there's no catching our leader anymore. And we crown a new World Drivers Champion. So let's review Hamilton 36 team. points well, behind incredible day of racing who was your driver of the day Ant? now it's we do need to go out and perform in Las Vegas to lock down constructors a... right drivers is done we've completed that but we do want we want both championships we want both championships so we got to go out to Vegas and perform here Are we going to do another Ask the Driver feature? Sure. Aerodynamics is the best. That's great. When you were starting out, who were your heroes? I'm in our Red Bull driver. I'm going to pick Sebastian Vettel. Um, Not an easy decision, but you handled it well. Thanks. I really, before like paying attention to Formula One, the driver that I still knew was uh, Lewis Hamilton. And like I said, I followed Lewis Hamilton on social media before. Um, even watching F1. I remember when he won championship like 2014. Um, going on Twitter and seeing the, that trend being 14 or 15. Um, okay. Digger Rosberg winning 2016. I was like, who the hell is this dude? Because again, I didn't watch um, F1. Like, I, I knew of F1, obviously. Um, and I've seen like a little bit of I know that they had like the F1 drivers on top gear when I'd watch that, but that was kind of my experience of F1. So I started watching it in 2019. But again, I feel like a lot of people that watch uh, F1 or have started in the last few years don't necessarily look at the history of the sport. They just look at like current moments, like F1 didn't start until five years ago. Four years ago, whatever. A lot of people came in in like 20, 2020, 2021. But, no. Gotta know the history of the sport. Gotta understand it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Las Vegas, final race of the season. We've locked down the Drivers' Championship with the win in Brazil. Now it's time to just go here. And lock down the Constructors Championship. Here at the end of the season. I didn't really think Constructors was something that I could win. Um, you know, Max had a few bad races where I got crashed out or whatever. I had uh, you know, my DNFs and my poor results, but again, going on this, oh, I missed that turn. This, tur this corner catches me out. It's such a weird turn. Uh, but yeah, going on this win streak, having Verstappen come get some points, get some wins, like. I think that we are in a spot that we can go out and beat Ferrari, uh, continue the development. That was something I kind of didn't plan on initially doing, but kind of had to. I didn't think I would need to, I thought the car would be good enough for 10 races, but it really wasn't. So continue the development. Let's go. We got a pole position. Fantastic. You've got pole position. And that's not what we've really done this season. I'm going to be honest. Like, we've started on pole from doing uh, winning sprints, but 
I don't think we've really gone out and won a poll. Finished, it's time to remind ourselves once again of our top... So yeah, the Ferraris kind of dominated the middle of the season. They were way better than us. Max was getting bad results. I was getting bad results. Um, again, Italy taking Max out was not what I wanted to do. That one, that one sucked. Uh, Belgium, I took him out intentionally, I will admit. I had to kind of come back in the points. But um, yeah, again, I kind of cooked him from really from race, really from Austria to Qatar. He didn't do much. Uh, you know, he won the first two. Austria, he just raced bad. Belgium, I took him out. Netherlands, he didn't race well. Italy, I accidentally crashed him. And Qatar, he just didn't race well. So really, Austria, Netherlands, Qatar, he just got third, or seventh. Back on the podium, though, in the last uh, two races. So he's kind of came back. He can definitely get up to um, fifth in the standings. But he dominated the start of the season. Let's see driver details. If I got a poll, I've only got two pole positions this entire season. I think Austria, I got pole. All right, let's go win this race. And let's go win us a Constructors Championship. All we got to do is just finish ahead of the Ferrari drivers, realistically. Uh, the Mercedes drivers have an outside shot. Um, you know, probably they got a 1-2 and we all got DNFs, but. Let's see. Final race. Been a good season. It's been a good comeback. Um. So with the race not far away from stand well I imagine they'll be starting to let's do this thing here we go we're cooking What the hell? How did I hit that wall? Alright, there is only four laps left in the series after this. This has been interesting. Again, I didn't expect to really come back to do a Formula 1 season after the last one. Oh my god, I hit that wall too. I just want to hit the wall all the time. I'm kind of annoyed with that. I know I wasn't doing flashbacks to start the season, but eh, who cares. Wow. Just a lazy hit on the wall. Dog. How does that make sense? We made contact like that, and somehow the right side of the wing breaks. Okay, listen, don't worry about it, mate. Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. Turn 
turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. That's just everybody. I think that that big crash would have actually ended all run up the constructor's championship because I came across the track and I'm pretty sure me coming across the track took out for stab. Lando is bidding. That front wing damage is too much for him. So here we go, the position we are in. Looking like a very likely Instructors Championship. Verstappen's coming back at us, nothing really. I'm not gonna fight this one. That is our teammate. We're trying to go for the championship here. Kinda did push Verstappen wide there, that is not what I wanted to do. Gonna fall back fourth from that move. DRS is now enabled, that's gonna be fun. A little bit of a corner cut in there. I missed. That's a tricky corner. Now I'm pretty sure that originally wasn't like that. I'm pretty sure you just went right through it. I uh, think they changed it. That was super helpful. That move there. That. That really slowed down everyone's momentum down this uh, long Las Vegas strip. Verstappen's getting absolute clapped. What is happening? Verstappen won the first two races. I won the third race. Signs won race four and five. I've won six, seven, eight, and nine. Looking to get win number ten. A race win number ten. They give us win number six on the season. Thing is, we had we were the best of anybody this entire season. 
Hamilton just drove right in the back of us because I went too slow to that section. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I was the fastest or the best of anybody this season. I had two DNFs, which cost me 50 points. Uh, so there's that. And then we had uh, you know, just a, a podium finish. So that's the thing. We've had podiums in all the three races. So. I'm not worried about Hamilton here because he is going to pit. That front wing is just too damaged for him to keep going. I was trying to get to the inside and kind of uh, force him to stay out, but I just didn't have the speed. So through all the racing, all the episodes here in August, of course, this was a story of redemption for our solo career. Uh, that we did back probably what was that February I got cooked off a of Red Bull and this is also for double uploads uh, every day here in August this is what it was for and it's been brilliant it's been cool um, yeah it's cool to do two videos a day uh, not so we're gonna keep doing obviously um, It's a lot of extra content, but this is definitely a fun one to have for for one month. So, We're going to lose the race in the last corner. That's unfortunate. But you know what? We'll take the one, two, and the constructors win. Okay, good job, mate. Really, really well I'm done. good with that. We'll take five wins on the season still. I'd like to finish up the entire second half with a win, but I also didn't want to knock it out. A Red Bull 1-2 when we won the championship. That was really what I wanted in the end. So I could have played it way more defensive with Verstappen. you rank as your driver of the day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. Let's move on to the constructors. And it's another title in the bag for Red Bull. After a long and hard-fought season, they built... We did it. Another constructor championship. Driver Championship. Let's go. Alright, well, with that, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video.